Hello, what up, what's up? All praises due to the Most High. God, I thank you, Jesus, I thank you. Angels and ancestors of the Most High with your white light, please stand and protect us as we go into the tarot and allow me to channel through announced messages from whomever may come across this message. What do they need to know and what do they need to hear, Holy Spirit? Clearing on these messages, please. What is this person, how is this person feeling towards this collective? How is this person feeling towards my collective, Holy Spirit? We have here the four of wands at the bottom of the day. The pilot line. Clearing out messages for how this person is feeling. With this nine of swords here, the two of pentacles coming out. Somebody feels like they could have definitely dropped the ball when it comes to you. A Sagittarius, Virgo, an earth sign, okay? As well as a Sagittarius or um, Leo Aries. Somebody feel like they dropped the ball when it comes to you. Somebody's sad about something. Somebody's taking something really hard. What about the Nine of Swords with the Two of Pentacles? We have here the Tower with the King of Cups at the bottom of the day. Somebody could be feeling like they're being iced out or blocked out or something to do with the truth. Somebody found out the truth about something. And they, um, they didn't want what someone had to offer anymore. We have here the Ten of Swords in reverse as I split the deck. So somebody deliberately did something to someone intentionally. What is this um, deliberate action like? What was this deliberate action that someone took towards somebody? Because I'm getting someone feeling like they're just so undecided, like they're in a tug of war and they're being pulled in multiple directions. Yeah, the four of swords. Somebody is unraveled, razzled. Okay, like they can't. Somebody just wants a peace of mind. Okay. And I'm hearing LL Cool J. But I know that you always. And I'm gonna love you better. I'm hearing Love You Better by LL Cool J. And your friends will see it too. So somebody feel like they could have loved you better. And they're, they're thinking about that right now. About how they may have um, treated you. Somebody can be praying, and they're usually like, they don't pray often. What is this tower that happened? Oh, this girl is a tower. We have here the uh, Wheel of Fortune coming out into reverse. With the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, I don't even feel like talking about it, but this is this could have something to do with someone. Um, Working with others or a third party situation, but something is being blocked here. What is this blockage that's happening? This um, this universe interfering. We have here the page of pentacles with the magician. Okay, so okay, so somebody could be trying to figure out. I ain't gonna say they're trying to figure out, but somebody could be um wondering or um just confused on why um. Someone may be moving the way they're moving or acting the way they're acting, but there is somebody who's experienced a tower. Somebody has experienced a tower, but this tower happened when they learned this page of, so page of pentacles, page of swords, right? So somebody went seeking and looking. Thank you, spirit. So somebody went seeking and looking, and with this page of pentacles, they got some type of information, and this information sent them into the tower. But... I feel like this information could make someone teary-eyed, okay, or be holding back their tears or their voice shaky or, like, they could have, like, a knot in their throat. Because something could make someone burst into tears. Not necessarily that they are going to cry, but it's something that they could, like, be crying about. Or, like, just, like, just the way that they're acting, they might as well just cry. What else, Holy Spirit? Will the fortune reverse? 
Yeah, we have here the two of wands with the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. So somebody made a decision when it comes to a love situation. But this was hard, though. This is hard for them to do. It's like, I don't want to, but I have to. So this has something to do with love and obligations. Somebody has some obligations. And they chose these obligations over who knows. Because I'm getting love, like their feelings. Matter over heart, like what matters. Somebody, something about an iron gate or an iron, oh, iron fist, uh, what I, what came out my mouth, but I wanted to say iron fence. What is an iron fist? Is that a movie or like, what does an iron fist mean? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Yes, the Ace of Swords here with the temperance. Somebody is sad. But it's almost like, you know, when you have to do the right thing, even though you don't want to do it, but you know it's the right thing to do. So I'm just getting that. Like somebody is, when it comes to a situation with you and a person, they're sad. They're in their, they're in their feelings. The tower, they, they experience the tower. So that's why they're moving the way that they're moving. But I feel like this, whatever this decision is that they made, they didn't want to, but it was the right thing to do. And every day we do things that we don't want to do, but we know it's the right thing to do. So somebody is experiencing that at this time. With the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck, somebody's looking at the decisions that they made. It's like a board game and somebody looking at their plays. It's like somebody's watching the stats or somebody's looking at their stats. and mm -hmm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Regarding how this person is feeling towards the collective? Six of Pentacles here with the Ace of Pentacles. See, now this person wants to invest in this connection and grow something with you. But that Ten of Wands energy, Nine of Wands energy keeps um, showing itself. Somebody is so confused. And it's a, it's a hot and cold, giving the energy, pulling the energy back, giving energy, pulling the energy back. Now they want to give and actually invest in this connection. Anything else? Running on serpents, going towards the collective? Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So somebody has been holding back a lot, holding back from you or holding back from a connection because they're just confused. What is it? What is this confusion? Yeah, they need to bring balance to a situation with the Two of Pentacles here and the Temperance, the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's confused when it comes to a Queen of Wands. But they want to go towards this Queen of Wands, but they can feel like this Queen of Wands is rejecting them or blocking them or walking away from them. The Eight of Cups, Queen of Swords, Chariot coming out. But this is who they want to be with, the Nine of Cups. But I feel like with this Two of Wands here, Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Two, Two, Two. You could be seeing that. Just somebody just made this decision. I don't want to say that they're regretful because they know it's the right thing to do, but it's like they want to they want to reroute something. It's like they want to go in a different direction now. But it could just it just very well may be too late. Or somebody's thinking something is too late. One more message for the collective on the spirit. Regarding how they may feel towards the collective, love. We have here the Hierophant. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck once again. So there's an ending that happened to a situation, but somebody did not see this coming. Somebody didn't see this coming at all. 